long time no vlog. It's been about a year since I did my Morpheus versus surgery video blog vlog. Um, and I went through Morpheus four times, happy with the results, medium happy with the results. It's not surgical results and I knew that it was non-invasive and it reduced my bags a little bit, which is great, tightened the skin. However, I want them tighter and I want the fat bags to be here instead of here and i also want to fix my upper eyelids and it turns out that this eye has a ptosis meaning that the eyelid is actually lower than this this eyelid i have makeup on right now so it's not very discernible or noticeable that i have these designer eye bags but when i do this you can really tell since high school that I've been thinking about this, self-conscious about this, and I know a lot of people have already told me, you don't need it, you don't need it, you don't need it, you're too young, you look fine, thank you. But this is for me and I'm excited, I'm ready. It's been a long time coming. Now we're headed to Seoul. Coming from Osaka. This is a temp. It's like a keep up tempura. Yeah. You know, it's different than this. Down in Seoul, South Korea. We actually came from Japan. We went to a friend's wedding and now we're here. Surgery day is actually tomorrow. How did I decide on this clinic? I actually got a really good referral from one of my best friends. She had her eyelid surgery, ptosis surgery, a couple years back and she went to Korea went to dream plastic surgery. It looks great. Um, I did a consultation through online. Um, it was through WeChat, I believe. Sent some photos, got a quote, and um, sent a deposit over, picked a date. Um, I actually did this two years ago when I was considering eyelid surgery, and it was recommended from my surgeons and other friends um, and colleagues that it's probably not a good idea, so I underwent the Morpheus treatments and non-surgical route. And then pandemic happened, reached out again, did another consultation. They recommended the same thing, same prices. Um, and I decided to kind of take the plunge this time around. Very easy process. Translation into English with the people at Dream Plastic Surgery is pretty seamless. I did a bunch of research watching vlogs on YouTube as well and I know there's a bunch of clinics out there that work with a lot of influencers and whatnot and all like kind of okay reviews and how they're kind of pushy. All good reviews from other YouTubers and vloggers, influencers about dream plastic surgery so it was the chair on top and it made me feel really good about my choice and so far everything's been very good. Surgery day is tomorrow so I will I'll bring you in with me. What did I do to prep for this trip? Um, I definitely started taking uh, supplements to help with inflammation and bruising. I've been taking bromelain supplements. Um, it's helpful for inflammation, calming down inflammation. I recommend this to most of my patients for surgery and procedures, filler, Botox, all that stuff. Um, so I've been doing that since about three weeks ago, not taking any Aleve or Advil or aspirin, anything that causes more bleeding because I don't want to bruise as much. Um, I'm trying to watch what I eat in terms of salty foods. I don't drink, so um, that's okay there, but it's very hard to not eat salty foods in Asian countries. Um, I love salt. I realize that I've been really puffy and very swollen throughout this trip from Japan to Korea, so I might be swollen. Um, I already swell a lot with filler, so I know I am a puffy person. Okay, so it looks like that, it's a sticker. Oh, this one's smaller than this one. Using eyeshadow to camouflage the tape and this is what I'd like to achieve after surgery.
Good morning. It's surgery day. We got our iced coffees, walking to the train. My friends are so nice in dropping me off to my big day. It was not difficult to get to Dream Plastic Surgery at all. This place is so nice, so clean. The consultant helping me out was amazing. Her English was perfect. Every little question was answered and I felt so comfortable even though I don't know any Korean. This is my projected surgery and going through all the documents. Next step, we went upstairs to get changed into our surgical uniform. I had to wash my face and make sure everything was nice and clean. Got my vitals checked and even took some before photos before consulting with my surgeon. And she did some markings and I couldn't catch that, but this is what we had planned for. Okay, surgery time, jump scare. And ketamine, feeling okay, finally regaining consciousness. Obviously very swollen. Um, my checkup is again tomorrow at 2 p.m. And then I believe on Thursday as well. Yeah, I just feel really swollen and puffy. I believe the surgery took about two hours. Um, was instructed to open my eyes, close my eyes, open my eyes, close my eyes, and then I went to sleep. And I believe that's when they gave me the sedative and they worked on the under eye bags repositioning at that point. And didn't really feel a thing. As I wake up now, I feel more sore and just swollen. Not nauseous yet. Um, they took off my IV and they said I can leave whenever I feel ready to. I have the sense to pee, so I don't know if I have the energy for that yet, but that might be next on my to-do list. I also, at the last minute, wanted some Botox, Korean Botox, so um, I'll double check to see if they put that in. I'm pretty sure they did. I don't really remember. <laughs> Nauseous from that taxi ride. Not too bad. Less swollen, more bruised. I did an ice pack this morning for about 10 minutes and I put on eye drops, the um, antibiotic ointment on the little incisions up there on my lid, and then also the anti bruising cream skincare to the rest of my face get ready for the day i don't feel nauseous that only lasted after the cab ride i had some food had something to drink felt a lot better slept pretty okay um but today we are just going to be doing some light walking and uh see how much of that i can handle i do have a follow-up appointment at around 2 p.m and then another follow-up appointment in a couple of days Went to Nike to customize some sweatshirts, Korean fried chicken for lunch, and I was on my way to my first checkup with Dream Plastic Surgery. No one batted an eye because surgery is so normalized here. Here they are taking off my bandages and checking to see everything is looking okay. My surgeon is amazing. She also speaks a little bit of English and commented on how well I was healing. Well, Thursday in the morning, okay? Do, do uh, yeah, I could do before 10 a.m. They gave me light therapy to help with inflammation. And I felt pretty depuffed after that. It's looking pretty good, so we went to explore some more and went to the famous library, went back home to take my medications, and basically called it a day. Yeah. Next day, we decided to go to the Hangup village and went to some cafes, went to Myeongdong and did lots of shopping for skincare. Went home to ice my eyes really quick, got my nails done, ate some more fried chicken, and went to Guangzhou market to have some amazing food. These knife cut noodles were amazing. I dream of this barley bibimbap. Oh my goodness. The food was so good. We did some sightseeing to walk off all the food and called it a night. Three days after surgery, I did my post-op appointment to remove my stitches. And there was no pain throughout this whole thing, just soreness. They gave me another light treatment to help with inflammation, and I was able to check in with my doctor. She said everything was healing fine. I also took my post-surgery photos, and I was on my way. Stuffing my face before I go get my Korean perm with CCA hair. And I was getting really puffy during this appointment because I haven't iced my eyes in a while, but yeah just really puffy. 
kind of sore. Pro tip, just do all of your hair and skincare treatments here in Korea. 10 out of 10. It's so good here and it's so affordable. I love it here so much. You bet we went back to Guangzhou Market to eat some more. Everything was so good. Here I am puffy and admiring my hair. Actually went back home to ice my eyes and went out to eat some more. Had some bingsu dessert, went to a couple bars, met up with friends, went to a cool party, and called it a night. This is post-op day four. More bruised, less swollen. Had barbecue for lunch and went to a cute coffee cafe right before the airport. Dream provided all of our transport. It was so nice. We made sure to get our tax refund and hung out at the lounge until our flight. Yes, I had a lot of salty foods, don't judge me. Um, took a shower before the flight and it was honestly amazing. Put on all my ointments and took my medications. This is a mirror check on the plane and boom, back in the USA. Rested for the weekend and went back to work on Monday. Checking in, I'm super oily. This is me after a full day's work back in the office. It's been one full week post-op. I am still a little bit swollen. My incision marks are almost indiscernible. I still feel the sutures, but they will dissolve in a matter of like three to four weeks. I have no makeup on, just chemical sunscreen, so it's clear and bruising has healed up really nicely. Do I have pain? Not really. It's more so of like swollen puffiness that I feel. It's same feeling the night before you cried, you wake up swollen. That's still how it feels, but not as extreme. I'm pretty happy with how not bruised I am. I think the bromelain supplements helped 100% because I am so easy to bruise and my bruises last over a week, sometimes two weeks, and it takes forever to change colors. As you can see, uh, there's some yellow under here. Previous videos, you saw how yellow I was in this whole area. I think I have a yellow area here because I was bruised from the Korean Botox. Overall, not bad. And a lot of people at work today were like, wow, you're here already? It's been a week? It looks really good. And I'm very, very much in agreement. So yay. I'm breaking out a little bit here and there just because I haven't been exfoliating this area chemically with my Korean and American skincare, so I'm gonna go back to that. I haven't had any makeup on. I didn't want to risk any infection or any irritation to my eyes. Probably for another week and I should be okay. I love the no makeup look because I can actually see the bigger creases. This is what I used to get when I used tape and makeup. So now I just literally wake up like this. This is amazing. And perm is permin, so I quite enjoy that. I wanted to show you how puffy I am in the mornings. You can see that my upper eyelids are quite swollen. You really can't see my under eye bags because I am puffy. My lips look really juicy and it's been about a year and a half since I've gotten filler, like half a syringe. Um, that's when I can tell I had a lot of salt the previous night or previous day. This is week two and a couple of days post-surgery. It's looking good. You can't really see my under eye bags because of the puffiness, like I said. Hello, this is week three with makeup on. First time um, since the surgery. Um, I catch myself looking at my reflection in mirrors and especially with overhead lighting, I used to really be self-conscious because it would just make my under eye bags very apparent. Uh, and now I don't really feel so self-conscious, which is wild. You will in the past never really catch me at at this angle with the, the MySpace angle um, because I would be so self-conscious about my under eye bags, but now it's a little different and I am a little more confident now and I've been really happy so far and uh, looking forward to more aha moments. Good morning. This is three weeks and a couple days. 
um, still kind of sore when I touch my eyelids with this. So I'm definitely still being very careful. It is week five. I am bare face, no makeup, just um, chemical sunscreen. And everything's looking pretty good. A little swollen because it's the morning time. I am going to be taking my week five photos. So I'm gonna put together a before and after so that you can see the difference. I noticed the difference for sure. The other night I was um, motioning to take off eyelid tape, but I realized I don't have eyelid tape no more. So that was quite nice. I am still recovering from little stitches still, so hopefully that will go away in the next couple of weeks. But overall, very happy with those results. The stitches are healing better and better each week. Here's the amazing before and after. I love my results. This is what I was looking for and I love my eyelids before and I love them even more so now. So thank you for your comments. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Stay safe and stay beautiful. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.